Pond by Gabriela Martinez. The pond is just one of the several habitats that exist. A pond habitat is any home to plants and animals. Ponds and their surroundings contain organisms that live on land, near water and in the water. From the pond, much can be learned from the different animals, plants, climate, and the way these all connect with the environment. First, we will study plant life, then the animals living in the pond habitat. Next, some details about the climate and locations of ponds. Finally, we look into some good and bad events that can take place at these habitats. Different plants grow in and near ponds. The plants give food and oxygen and shelter to animals. There are many different types of plants that grow in a pond. Wildflowers, grass, and hearthon and dogwood. The creeping jenny is a very pretty plant. It has yellow little flowers and grows in the summertime. Grass is grown in ponds and grows very tall and high above the water. Grass attaches to the soil at the bottom of the pond. Plants in a pond grow because of the sunlight that reaches to the bottom of the pond. Also, wildflowers love sunny ponds and leave their seeds, which grow back every year. Beautiful purple wildflowers can often be found there. Plants are the reason why animals can survive in a pond. The animals eat plants, but the larger animals eat the smaller animals. Many animals live in a pond. Fish are the most common. However, there are also turtles, snakes, frogs, and other animals. In the pond, you will additionally find these animals. Dragonflies, snakes, toads, eels, mud turtles, newts, wood ducks, salamanders, and catfish. The animals love the water. The ducks eat the smaller fish and swim in the water. The toads and frogs eat the dragonflies. Ponds can be anywhere. There are so many parks in New Jersey that have them. Some ponds are man-made because people find them relaxing and beautiful. People like fishing there and children love playing in them. Ponds are in so many places. And the climate of a pond can vary. Their temperature also depends on their size. The top of the pond is usually warmer and the bottom layer is colder. Also, the perfect weather for a pond is the summertime. Fish grow in ponds and plants thrive in the humidity and heat. Further, the other seasons are not the best for animal and plant life, which can harm or kill them, especially if the water freezes. In addition, the rainfall can harm a pond and get algae to grow. If too much algae grows, it is bad for the pond and fish. Ponds may become contaminated with the dangerous bacteria. Algae can harm a pond because it takes up a lot of oxygen killing fish and plants. Garbage can destroy a pond and its animal and plant life. Too much water can also destroy a pond. Keeping a pond clean and healthy will keep it beautiful. In other words, people are responsible for preserving the, the pond habitat. Our study of ponds has revealed a diverse habitat where life relies on life. Keeping the environment active and moving, man-made ponds are naturally made. Ponds make beautiful homes for organisms. Animals and plants rely on their cleanliness and preservation. Therefore, it is important for people to take care of ponds where the animals and plants may not survive. It is important for us to not pollute. In conclusion, people are responsible for preserving the pond habitat. That's it.
Hope you like my report about pogs.